Welcome to Excel Academy. In this video, we will discuss the various exam tips which will be helpful for you. Before that, please subscribe to our channel to get awesome videos on the company secretary course and the related subjects. So, what should you do before the examination? First thing is you must sleep well. Everybody tells don't sleep study for exams, but I'm telling when your exam is just 2-3 days, make sure you have a equal sleeping pattern. When you sleep well, your body is fresh mentally and physically which will definitely help in your exams. After sleeping, next is eating. Before you go to your exam, whether your exam is morning 9-9.30 or in the afternoon 2 o'clock, ensure that you have a decent meal. In the middle of the exam, you should not feel very hungry. And at the same time, you should not overeat before you go to the examination. Now, coming to the next concept of visualizing the question paper. This is extremely important, especially a couple of hours before the examination. In every question paper, there is a set format. For example, in CS Executive Company Law or CS Professional Advanced Company Law or Financial Management, any subject for that matter, there is a set pattern. For example, there is first question which is compulsory, second question which is practical, third question differentiate between, fourth question, case law question, like that every subject has a pretty much same pattern. So if you visualize this pattern, it really helps because on the subconscious level, you know what is the kind of question you can expect. And this pattern is the same for many, many years. Of course, the questions are different, but the pattern is similar. Then, just before you start your writing your examination, in fact, before you start reading the question paper, take a deep breath. Once you take a deep breath, lot of oxygen will go to your brain. And we all know and we have studied in school, without oxygen, the brain cannot work. So let us try and give maximum oxygen to our brain by taking a deep breath. Now, coming to what you should do while reading the question. While reading the question, the first thing is read the question two times. You may feel that it is going to take a lot of time and it is time waste. Not at all. Reading the question takes much, much, much lesser time than writing the answer. And many students have a wrong notion of just reading the question and immediately starting to write the answer. That is definitely not a good practice because when you read the question, you should recognize what is the kind of question, what are they asking in the question. Only when you know that, your answer will be in tune with what is the expectation of the institute. So coming to what kind of question, for instance, in the law paper, the kind of questions they ask is either to describe the concept or to explain the concept or to decide that is in something connected to case laws when they give an imaginary case where you have to connect it to any case law and write your answer or true or false and the next important thing is practical procedures whether it is CS executive program or professional program they do ask practical questions so try to understand first what is the kind of question they are asking after you know that you should know what are they asking first is what is the kind of question when we say what are they asking I mean that what exact concept they are asking in that particular topic. It could be for example if you say incorporation of a company in company law, are they asking you the procedure of incorporation, are they asking you what are the forms involved, are they asking you what is the law related to incorporation, are they asking you what is the punishment if the uh, promoters give wrong documents. So you have studied the entire chapter of incorporation but you should know what exactly they are asking. So first recognize that once you recognize that then only you can start planning to write the answer. Next, planning the time. This is another common mistake or common problem which many of the students are facing. After the exam, they come and tell me that I could not write the paper. I knew the answers but I could not write the paper. And for that, the simple reason is not planning your time. You should ensure that you must finish the examination at least 5 to 10 minutes before the 180 minutes that is 3 hours. How do you do that? Very simple. Make sure that if you have six questions, that is the main questions, it may have different subparts, but three answers for the three questions have to be completed in one and a half hour, that is 90 minutes. And if you are not, please stop then and there and start with the next question. Because it is better than leaving 30 to 40 marks and some students have left even 50 marks because they said they didn't have time. So they are trying to write everything for that particular concept where it is really not required. So for how many marks is the question? Is it for 5 marks, 7 marks, 2 marks? So for that you should limit your answer and go to the next concept. Now after planning the time, 
what are the different tips you can use while presenting your paper some of this you may already know but it definitely will help you to remember and improve the way you present your answers first thing is you must write this phrase answer to question number whether it is theory paper practical paper in every answer in every page ensure this phrase is there if you are going to the next page ensure you write continued answer to question number so and so why see the person who is correcting your paper is correcting at least 150 papers so to make his life easier and to ensure that there are no mistakes that he is giving you marks for some other question or he thinks it's some other answer please write this then in theory papers or law papers try to answer as much as possible in points yes you can write paragraphs and some questions demand that you write in form of a paragraph but most questions you can write in points because even the person who is correcting your paper they are given a guidance or what are the what is the content to be in that particular answer so while writing points you can draw attention to them and you will know what all you are covering then the next thing is examples writing examples makes a huge difference in the exam so you can take examples which are happening in the corporate world and incorporate it in your answer next tip is illustrations what is a illustrations illustration is a imaginary situation which you are creating to bring out the particular concept sometimes there are some concepts which you have to answer in the exam which are complicated for that you can use a illustration for example you can say mr rex bought shares got the share certificate and then he lodged it with the company so if you are explaining that so you can give a imaginary situation which will bring out the concept which is required in that answer and that will definitely fetch lot of marks for you then writing charts yes you cannot write charts for all the answers but at least for 2 3 you can definitely write charts and charts not only look beautiful but also all the points in that concept can be captured in one diagram so charts help a lot then one another small tip is you can use two color pens that is blue and black so if there are some important words you want to underline or in a practical paper the answer you want to highlight you can use it in blue and black you can choose how you want to you might not get time to keep changing your pen for all the answers but at least for you you can try and i am not saying you'll get extra marks just because you use two different pens but definitely the answer will look better and the person who is correct will have a good impression about the paper and please do not write till the edge of the paper because sometimes when they are tying or when it is bundled there is high chance that it will tear and what if the most important word in your answer is in that part it will be torn and though you have written correct it will never be corrected and the last and most important tip which is very much common sense but very often students are making mistake that is you must check even if the person who is is an invigilator there uh, pulling your paper ensure these two things you check what is it the answer number and your roll number so for question 1 whether the answer is question uh, answer for that is matching or 2 3 4 5 so that takes hardly few uh, seconds like 30 to 40 seconds to check that and before you hand over no matter what check your roll number whether you are written it properly so hope these tips were helpful for your examination all the best for exam if you follow this definitely you'll score very high marks good luck